Back in the Ice Age, these were mountaintops. Now they're islands called the Matsikas, surrounded by their treacherous reefs. Kelly threaded his way through here, sticking very close to the coast. He rounded the southwest cape. Now he was heading north, at the risk of the sea and the winds that tried to push him into the shore. But he pressed on and found what he was looking for, a safe harbour. He called this harbour Port Davy. This is the very heart of the southwest wilderness. Now we're landing here because there's a couple of very special things I want to show you. Firstly, I would like you to meet a real pioneer of this remote place. Meet Denny King. He's the only permanent resident here. He's lived alone in this area for the last 40 years. And one of his jobs, as with most Tasmanians, is keeping an eye on the weather. But his is a very important eye, for this is the only reliable weather report for the southwest corner of Tasmania. And it's also Denny's only contact with the outside world. Hi, Ted S to Hobart. Hi, Ted S to Hobart. Good morning. Standing by with the figures. Go ahead, Denny. Uh, going ahead. 11496. Another interesting point also deals with the weather. The vegetation here is all native plants. And one of the real surprises of this country is that although it looks very fertile, none of it will grow crops. And that's the main reason southwest Tasmania is still a wilderness.